Well, welcome to Unruly Guides. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a linkable table of contents for your Kindle ebook. I'm going to be using the program Sigil, but you can also use a text editor or a web design program such as Dreamweaver. Now in this, I have opened our formatting template for Kindle, and it is an HTML file. Now in Sigil, just to let you know, when it comes in, even though it's HTML, it actually adds an XML expression at the top because normally Sigil is used to make EPUBs and it requires XHTML as the ext extension or XML. But EPUBs can also be used on the Kindle. But for this tutorial, what we're doing is we're focusing on the table of contents. Now in our template, we provide an area for the cover art, table of contents, and then we have something at the bottom that says paste your story content after this line, which we have done according to our DIY formatting kit tutorial. Now in this one, the table contents will look slightly different than the other tutorials. And this is because we're only creating a table of contents just for Kindle. Now in this file, it is one long HTML file, and so we need to be able to link to places on the page, which is the chapters. And what we use is what we call anchor links. Now for the first one, which is the acknowledgement, it is a bracket A space href, which is the reference, equals quote mark, hash, and then whatever the name that you choose, quote mark, and closing bracket. Now all HTML expressions have a closing tag. So they have an opening tag, like bracket A, and a closing one, slash A. So now what we're going to focus on here is the hash mark. Now the hash mark name is going to correspond to the name that you put down in here with your H1 tag. And we're going to be doing that in the second video. So you want to choose names that are simple to remember. Now for chapters you can put CHAP, C-H-A-P-1, or C-1, or whatever you want, but they have to be consistent. So now in this area, we have hash mark A-C-K for acknowledgments, chapter 1, 2, 3, and I added another one, 4, and then hash mark for author. But let's say your book only has three chapters, like ours does. Then what we do is you would highlight one of the extra chapters, and you would actually just click the delete. Let's say that you actually want to add a chapter. Then you highlight the last chapter, go Command or Control C, and then put your cursor at the end, return a couple times, and Command or Control V as in Victor, and it will add it. And you have to make sure that you change it to the chapter name. So like this would be Chapter 4 and hash mark Chapter 4. So once you get all your chapters in place, and you can rearrange your content the way you want, let's say you want the acknowledgments at the bottom, you would highlight that line, go Command or Control C to copy it. You can put it after the place where you want it, return twice, Command or Control V, and then you want to delete this first one. I always copy and paste it first before deleting in case I make a mistake. So you would highlight it and hit the delete. So once you get all your chapters in place, Go to video two and we'll show you how to put in the anchor tags to link now your new hash marks with your chapters. This is Unruly Guide, and if you need more information on do-it-yourself ebook formatting, please visit unrulyguides.com. Have a great day.